Hi YouTubers, um, I just want to show you my cool bike generator. Um, I know it really doesn't look like the bike's right because I got it upside down. It's a special idea I came up with and I'll basically explain how it works and then I'll show you um, some demonstration of it. So here I go. Um, basically I flipped over the bike and the back wheel spins when you crank these pedals which then turns the generator um, if I had it right side up it would be much harder to balance because I got the when it's upside down I basically got the seat resting on the floor and then this just rubs on the generator and I just spin this by hand and then it works um, it's really all there is um, I'll show you the electrical part this is the generator. It's an image treadmill motor. Um, I got it on eBay. This is a voltage regulator. It converts um, anywhere from 20 to 60 volts DC to 12 volts to 12 volts DC for an inverter. Um, the inverter converts 12 volts to 120 volts, which then can power things under 150 watts. So. I'll show you a powering a fan and a light bulb. Um, so, let me position the camera. Uh, that looks good. Okay, so first thing we're going to power is a 75 watt light bulb. So, here I go. I'm going to just put my foot on here. I know I don't have shoes, but whatever. I'll be fine. Um, it definitely requires a little effort, but... So, yeah, it does require some effort. Um, bulb's a little warm, but whatever. That's how it is. Um, but yeah, it does require some effort. Um, but I could do this for about 10 to 15 minutes or so without getting tired but so yeah now I'll show you a different light bulb I have uh, it's 40 watts so this is going to be much easier to power I could do this one for a while probably an hour without getting too tired That's really how I do it, but so yeah, I am breathing a little fast because it is taking some energy to do it, but it's not too hard. But now I am going to show you me powering a 200 watt light bulb. This is twice the power of a 100 watt light bulb. Um, in case you're wondering what the black things are on top, it actually like fell. It actually fell and like burnt or something a long time ago. This is an old bulb. But it still works relatively well. But I do not think I could power this for long at all. Because it's 200 watts. It's going to really create a drag. But let's see how I do on this. Oh, you immediately feel the load. You can feel like a sudden jerk. Because it is requiring a lot of power to do this. Let's see if I can do this, though. too much of a load. My inverter was making beeping sounds. 
which I believe means it's too much. I don't know. But I couldn't power it. I could power it for like a second, but that's not really useful. It's a 200 watt light bulb, so I'll try it one more time. And then I'll move on to a fan and see how I do with that. more time. Oh! Yeah, I got a little longer there, but it's just too much wattage. 200 watts is a real low of power. So anyway, let's get rid of the whole light bulb thing. Um, and now, I am going to try to power a 75 watt fan. Okay. Um, it's barely gonna reach my inverter, so I'm gonna move it over a little. And there we go. Okay. And just to be cool, I'm gonna turn it on high. Um, oh, can't really see it on the camera, so let me lower it, even more me, there we go, now you guys can see it pretty well, wish I could lower it a little more so you could see it better, but I think you guys can see it pretty well, so here I go, 75 watts. did do that pretty nicely. Um, I'll show you that one more time and then I gotta go. There we go. That was on high speed. High speed. That's high. It's a little hard to read, but that's what it says. Um, so basically, again, I'll just show you the electrical thing. This is the generator. If you guys are wondering why I'm breathing a little quick, it is a lot of work to power these things. Whew. Um, these are the wires, nothing special, just wires from the generator going to the voltage regulator, then to the inverter, and then to whatever I'm powering. That's really all there is. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, one more thing. This does not use a battery. I am not charging a battery with this. This uses the pure electric coming off the generator. No batteries are needed. So anyway, as I was saying, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in my later videos. Bye.